Show me your habits and I will show you your future. It's that simple. It's not so complicated. We are a sum up of our physical, mental and spiritual habits. All that you have today is a product of what I call micro and macro habits. Micro habits in the sense of like waking up, brushing your teeth, putting on your dress. These are just micro habits that we have been used to over the years. But then we also have macro habits, meaning these are the big goals that you have in front of you or things that you have unconsciously or consciously vibe into you that have formed your mental picture, your spiritual person, and even your physical shape. Remember that your potential is a gift from God. But what you do with your potential is your gift back to God. In this short session, I want us to focus on three major factors in making or breaking any form of habit. Are you ready? Let's go in. Every habit has a prompt, a pattern, and a price. I'll say that again. A prompt, a pattern, and a price. What do we mean by prompt? Prompt means there is a cue, a trigger. And so you want to identify the prompt. You want to ensure that what is that thing that kickstarts, you know, that sets me upon this path. You want to take an analysis of previous times when you have found yourself exhibiting this habit. And you want to really take time to identify the prompt. In identifying the prompt, it is going to give you clarity on exactly what, you know, you need to focus on either to keep insisting on the, the continuity of that habit or you want to put an end to it once and for all. The next thing is the next you want thing to is also pay attention to pattern. Now, prompts will always bear patterns. And what do I mean by pattern? Patterns talks about a consistent way of doing a particular thing. And in terms of when we talk about habit formation or habit breaking, we, we, we want to pay attention to the fact that consistency beats intensity. And so what is that pattern that you have observed over the time? What have people said about this habit that you have showcased? And so that will also give you a clue on how to what to necessitate it, either to break it or to continue over it. Every habit and the last is prize means there is always a satisfaction. There's a feeling that you get that makes you feel that, you know, this is what it. So you want to also pay attention to that. If you want to continue in that habit, it means that you want to magnify the prize. You want to make the prize more attainable, so much so that it fuels your consistency. But if it, you are looking at breaking the habit, then you want to minimize the price or you want to cut it out finally so much so that there is no motivation for you to keep up doing this habit i believe so much that every goal that must be achieved must become a habit you see rome was not built in a day a drop of water they say make a mighty ocean so that tells you the fact that everything that is big started off once as a small thing so if indeed achieving a great vision and a great goal is your point and your focus this time around then you want to break it down into habits that you can begin to do every day so in every day towards that big goal what is that thing that you want to put in a prompt a pattern and a price so that you have yourself to have built up a system that will consciously bring you into that habit of progress. My name is Yumika Yobite. Thank you for joining me on this chat. Have a good day.